what are the best practices you can set up for your conversion actions for e-commerce and lead generation accounts. Hey everyone, I'm Ishan and I work as an account manager at Solutions 8. And today in this video, I'll be talking through uh, what are the best practices you can set up for your conversion actions for e-commerce and lead generation accounts. Okay, so I am already in a e-commerce uh, e-commerce account. So to head towards your conversion action, all you need to go to is tools and settings and click on conversions. And here you'll get a list of all of your conversion actions that you need to uh, set up or which are already which have already been set up. Now, coming back to the question, why is conversion tracking very important, right? Conversion tracking is very important primarily because, as you all know, uh, to just uh, submit correct data to uh, your client or have insights or, you know, have reports that help you to take decisions on uh, what steps you need to take next for your account. The second most important reason why conversion tracking is important is when you have the correct setup on your account, at that time you have the correct data that is sent to Google's algorithm. Google's algorithm is catered to, you know, differently to each and every account based on the industry that that account is in. So sending the right data will help you manage your uh, account very easily. Now, I will consider all of these conversion actions and events. So there are different events, right? There are purchase, there is a purchase event, there is an add to cart event, the checkout event. <clears throat> so all of these are events. For e-commerce accounts, the primary conversion goal is to track purchases, right? When you have uh, a user checking out, making a purchase, that is the only time, you know, the you want that event to be considered as a conversion now the most common mistake that users make here is they will create conversion actions for every event they will create a conversion action for purchase they will create a conversion action for add to cart but uh, what you need to know here is you cannot have all of the conversion actions set to primary uh, what i mean by that is if your account goal is to basically track just purchases then in this conversion actions list you need to have your purchase conversion action the only primary action optimization goal and rest of the conversion actions you can keep them as secondary this doing this will send the correct signal to Google's algorithm that Google's algorithm will know that you know you are you want to track uh, users and uh, only those users who are making the purchase and you want uh, Google's algorithm will also know that uh, you want it to focus on creating audiences or creating similar audiences or creating that bubble uh, for you know your campaigns to target based on the purchase conversion action the data which it received from the purchase conversion action so how can you do that all you have to do is click on the conversion action you go to edit settings and you click on primary conversion action select the conversion action that you want to set it as primary and whichever conversion action that you want to set as secondary you can select that as well there are some exclusions to this where you know uh, conversion actions have are automatically created in the account and they cannot be changed to you know uh, secondary conversion actions uh, those you can uh, you know you can ignore those but the ones that you have created and set up on your account and they need to be set it up as primary okay now coming to enhanced conversions enhanced conversions are basically supplements that 
provide you can say nutrition to your um, to your conversion action okay enhanced conversions are um, uh, they send first party data to google ads what i mean by first party data is if you have an e-commerce account then you when a purchase is made you will have data such as uh, product id uh, country language etc uh, these are important uh, you know data uh, data layers that you can uh, you know send to your uh, uh, send to your google ads account based on which the audiences that are uh, generated and uh, audiences that are generated and created in your account are you know much fine-tuned rather than just having a conversion action so uh, conversion enhanced conversions you can set them up you know through you know if you just go to that conversion action edit settings and if you have if you have you know a google tag or a google tag manager uh, linked to your google ads account you can just you know basically just check uh, check on this uh, checkbox and click on save this is one of the settings uh, the second place that you need to go to is go to your conversion main conversion actions page go to settings and you can select from where you want to uh, basically track your conversion action from it, it can either be from the google tag or a google tag manager and we also have the new google ads api option which can help you to track your enhanced conversions so enhanced conversions are basically it's mo giving more data to you know your primary conversion action to you know uh, help google's algorithm learn faster and you know target the right users rather than just targeting the um, targeting top of the funnel uh, uh, audiences now coming to my perspective on which are the best methods of setting up conversion actions for your account is uh, i would like to uh, let you know about the best conversion setting up uh, the best ways to set up conversion actions for an e-commerce client so this is an e-commerce client and i basically have uh, three conversion actions for the purchase event okay so why i have set this up is primarily because uh, when these are three conversion actions which are set up differently so one is just a google ads uh, you know a tracking code the second is a google shopping app purchase code uh, this has been uh, built from or taken from shopify and the third is the ga4 uh, tracking code so these three ac conversion actions is basically to track the same uh, purchase event but under three different uh, platforms this helps uh, you know uh, having three conversion actions usually helps to you know maintain the integrity and validate the data correctly and also helps uh, you know to identify any red flags in the account because if you have three conversions or a minimum of at least two conversion actions in your account for the same event it will uh, it will help you to let you know that you know some if something goes wrong like if my uh, google ads conversion tracking code is not working and if there is, if the shopify tracking code is working correctly then at least you have you know some data to share with the client that okay yeah uh, one of the tracking codes failed but we have a backup and we can definitely uh, uh, you know grow on the basis of that data so it's always a good practice to have at least two conversion actions uh, I would also recommend a fourth uh, conversion actions uh, set up through GTM, Google Tag Manager. That is Google Tag Manager and Google uh, Google Shopping App Purchase Code from Shopify are two of the most reliable uh, conversion actions that I have come through uh, during working here at Solution Eight. So that's what i would recommend for e-commerce and now hopping on to a lead generation client 
yeah so this is a lead generation client uh, for which i have search campaigns uh, the primary conversion actions that i have for this account are uh, a lead form submission and uh, one is from the wordpress account and having both of these uh, as you can clearly see that you know one of the conversion action is failing to track the data whereas the second conversion action is, has uh, been correctly tracking data for you know the lead gen account so this is basically the whole idea of you know having two at least two conversion actions for the same event like i have this one for you know submitting a lead form and i have uh, two for you know phone call leads so it's a good practice to have two conversion actions rather than having just one because having one will of course if there's a failure you will come across you know uh, uh, missing out on uh, like important data and yeah i that's all i have to share for this video uh let let me guy let me know what do you guys think about this video and yeah hope this helped Hey everyone, John Moran here with Solutions 8, and today we're going to be covering an issue that no one really knows about unless you're a good marketer. <laughs> and this is actually the offline importation of the conversion actions that happened post lead generation. And when you want to upload them back into Google Ads, I bet you didn't know this, but WBraid and GBraid.